All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be logging QNT and in the alerts right here. So basically check this out. Same pattern as Bitcoin when I called the Bitcoin pump. Look, top number one, top number two, and then to top number three, we break out. We rip out, right? So look, top number one, top number two, top number three. We're going to rip out here in QNT, and I believe we're going to head straight up to 170, 150 at least. And so if that happens, guys, that's a massive pump in the making here that we're about to get of at least 14%, which means 140% gain coming for us here on $7,000. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we're risking on our stop loss. We'll put our stop loss right here at 116.7, which is right above our liquidation, which is great. This is exactly why I put $7,000 in the trade. So we'll be risking eight thousand dollars and then if we get up to 150 we're making minimum 9700 by the way i i think we would stop ourselves out earlier than the worst case but still we just want to prepare for the absolute worst case uh but then we're looking at possibly 170 so this is what we got boys all right stop loss at 116.5 okay stop at 116.6 we're taking profit at 170 and here we go baby locked and loaded let's send out this alert to everybody and let's make it be known that we are along and we're in it to win it here on QNT this week on this pattern that I've spotted okay so exactly as I've shown you in this video how much we're risking and how much we're looking to make I sent that alert out to everyone in the alerts and it's completely free to join so if you're not in here highly recommend you click the first link down below this video to join while it's completely free I can't guarantee I'll always have it open for free but for now it is so take advantage so I'm excited for this pump I think we should get it easily here and it's gonna be a beautiful trade I think so man I accidentally messed up my Femex chart here it's really pissing me off but anyways get ready for the pump we're about to blast off higher in QNT rest in peace to the fucking bears this is a total shit coin guys total shit coin i hate this coin but look the charts don't lie the charts are telling us long this piece of shit coin and that's what we're gonna do okay so just a couple hours after entering this trade we're up 23 percent obviously i sent that alert out in real time to everyone up 23 percent on a seven thousand dollar position so not going in too big on this just simply because we already made over a hundred thirty thousand dollars uh last week and so you know try to play careful and try to play safe after big wins uh, you don't want to you know what happens a lot of times is you win big and you try to play bigger and bigger and bigger and you know you just make stupid mistakes you get too aggressive once you're winning big you feel like you're on top of the world although I do have a big trade going on on Litecoin right now on my other computer uh, but that's in development because I have multiple entries for that trade and this is a longer time frame trade this is a more short short term trade here uh, that's going to be very easy so uh, this is this is what we got guys pumping and man I don't know what I did to my Femex chart it's got these blue lines all over it it has no volume and it's got the the price on the left side instead of the right side it's just so wacky so jacked up no idea what I did wrong there but anyways guys uh, wonderfully long here on QNT so check this out uh, we entered in QNT right around here uh, when I sent the alert out and now boom we're already up like that a few percent so uh, trades looking good and once again I still think the breakout hasn't even happened this is the level we're looking to break and right now we're just kinda of breaking it right and so you saw what happened to Bitcoin when it broke it and now we're about to see what's gonna happen to QNT when it breaks I think it's gonna be a face ripping rally here and should be a good one so I wanna congratulate all our members in advance on this trade obviously we're already up and at this point we can move our stop loss to break even so worst case scenario we're not losing any money and that's great because now we have a free trade where we have the chance to make you know twenty thousand plus so maybe if we exceed expectations and you know at the end of the day QNT has been putting in higher highs and you could say the bull markets already started for QNT the way it's been performing right look at this boom 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 so boom boom if we go take out that high with time here boom you're going to 270 right above that high 300 as crazy as that sounds and look I think it's a total shit coin I don't like this coin at all but hey with the current structure 
it wouldn't even be shocking to see it to get to 270. So that would be a $78,000 profit on just guys. A $7,000 position. That's a 1,000% return in the making here. So I got my take profit set there. Uh, stop loss, we can change that right now. Uh, put it back to our entry here. So it's a free trade at this point. 131.78. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, 131.78. Lose two dollars. I'm cool with that. And plus, we'll lose probably a probably a hundred bucks to fees. I would guess. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. So I want to get this video out for you. So if you're not in the alerts, um, you can at least follow along on this trade and see. You will be a little late to the trade, but. That's the cost to being late on and not being in the alerts live and in real time. So yeah, guys, we're ready. And, um, you know, listen to this message I sent to everyone, though. I got to warn you, though, guys. You got to be careful. Came off a $130,000 win. This is when you want to size up big, get irresponsible, and give back all your gains in one loss. Remember, it only takes one loss to lose all your money, right? That's what a lot of people do. So you got to be very careful. Regardless, no matter how confident you are, what's your worst case? How much are you going to lose if you're wrong? No matter how cocky or confident I may ever be in a trade, I know what's my worst case. And here, you see my worst case. Negative $8,000 if I'm wrong. That's it. So, you know, you'll get voice messages and stuff like that from me in the alerts. And the trade's very simple. But now, our worst case is we're going to lose $2 on the stop loss. Okay, we'll lose $2, and my connection kind of broke out there. Uh, but we'll lose like $2, and then, uh, you know, with trading fees, we'll probably lose like 100 bucks, which is like nothing. You can't even tell that you lost 100 bucks. Okay, so uh, 279 we'll put there. So we're risking $7 gain. Okay, really, let's be real. Let's be honest here. It's like a $100 loss because of trading fees if your stop loss gets hit. Uh, so we're, it's a, it's a risk-free trade to make $78,000 at this point. Let's freaking go, baby. Uh, no, we don't want a trailing stop. So, guys, that's my trade. Set it, forget it, let it rip, let it exceed expectations, hopefully. And that is the QNT pump that I'm calling for here, this piece of shit coin. All right, guys, hope this video helps you, and I hope you kind of get a little sneak peek at what it's like to be in the alert. So, if you want to join, first link down below this video. And if you're clicking the first link down below this video to join the alerts, a lot of you guys are coming down here and you're seeing it says $99 a month. And then you're like, oh no, you said it was free. But it is free, guys. It's just a button, okay? And, you know, basically it used to cost 100 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month if you were not a course member. But now I've made it completely free to join. So you can just go through here and you will join for completely free if you follow the steps uh, and the requirements, which are very simple, it's that you simply set up an account on one of my channel's partner links, whether that's Femex, BitGet, or Bybit. Personally, you know, we're using, it's nice to have both Femex and a BitGet account or a Bybit account, for example, because look, QNT is not on BitGet, right? QNT is not on BitGet. So here I long QNT on Femex, right? Because BitGet doesn't have this coin. Uh, and then also it's just good to have, you know, a, tr a small account and, uh, you know, a larger account on on BitGet, for example, and this way you can kind of, you know, have different strategies in different style trades if you need to. It's good to have multiple accounts, also spread out your risk, not have all your money in one account. But the, the good thing about uh, Femex and BitGet, they've never frozen my money a single time ever, and I don't use exchanges that freeze my money. That's a major reason I'm so confident and why I love these exchanges so much for trading, you know? So, yeah, guys, click the first link down below. Set up an account on one of my channel's partner links to get access into my alerts. And, you know, normally cost 200 bucks a month, but I've opened up for completely free. And uh, this rip right here should convince you how freaking sick it is being in crash alerts. By the way, guys, if you're in crash alerts and you participated in this Bitcoin pump with me and you made over 130K or whatever that number is for you, let me know down below. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my username is CrashesClay69. I'll leave a link down below to that for you if you want to follow me there. Uh, we got a lot of great tweets here. And, uh, you know, here, here's some notable ones recently. When I shorted the top at 69K, I was a foolish, pessimistic bear. When along the bottom of 16K, I was called a foolish, optimistic, naive, young piece of shit. The only thing that's going to crash is these nuts in your mouth. You can suck them all the way up to 107K. Now, guys, I want to tell you something about this tweet, for example, and some of my tweets is, by the way, like, 
if you did not follow me, if you did not buy right here at 16K when I told you to, when I told you how bullish we were, don't take my tweet too seriously when I say like, because I know what could happen is a lot of you guys are going to FOMO in now and like, you know, buy right here. And it's like, bro, you should have been buying down here when I told you to. So, you know, realize that as bullish as I am, I'm not telling you or anyone to buy right here, right? Like I was telling you to buy here, okay? Please keep that in mind. And so ultimately, even though I'm calling this as the bottom, I'm not going to be completely oblivious and I'm not going to completely act like it's not possible for us to come back lower. And as I said, from the day that I called the bottom, I told you guys, the reason I'm so bullish here at 16K is because the charts show that we're gonna, we should pump from here and we can go to 30K literally. But even if it's not the bottom, I told you guys that everyone in the world is calling for 10K or lower. So I already rule out going below 10K. Everyone's calling for that just like they were calling for 100K. We're not going to go below 10K. And so the, my analysis is basically, part of my analysis is, look, if I buy at 16K, what's the absolute worst that's going to happen to me is we go to 12K to 14K. Okay, and I still think that in the absolute worst case, we can come down to 12 to 14K. But you see, that's why I was so bullish down here is because look at the downside to 12 to 14K is 20% compared to the upside up to 100K plus. You see, that's why I was making fun of bears down there is you guys are all arguing over, you know, 2,000 points to the downside when we have like 80,000 plus points to the upside, you see. So, yeah, guys. You don't need to be going in and FOMOing in at the top or anything of this bounce, all right? But just realize that 100% in the worst case scenario, we can still come back down slightly below where I'm calling for the bottom at 16K. And that's absolutely where I see the worst case being is 12 to 14K. And I don't see us going below 10K because that's where everyone in the world wants and thinks we're going to go. And that, that's just not going to fucking happen. That's my opinion and prediction. So yeah, guys, um, I'm hoping that by the end of the year or by you know, within three to three to nine months, hopefully, you know, and, and that's the thing. I don't want the bear market to be over and I hope we'll eventually come down again. But what happens a lot of times in Bitcoin bear markets is we set the first bottom and then the second bottom is usually higher than the second bottom uh, and then the first bottom. So, for example, look at the last two bear markets for Bitcoin, right? So we had bottom number one at 3K and then you can see the COVID dip happened and we came back down almost, right? But you can see once again, it was a higher high than that first bottom okay and so let's go back and look at the last bear market before that as well and you can see we set bottom ultimate bottom right then actually we came back down very close to it uh, for that higher low bottom so it's kind of like a double bottom but an upward second bottom so look january and then the second bottom is in august very similar to what we have today kind of you know bottom in january Come back in uh, September, August or something, for example. You know, something like that in the second half of the year where you come back for a second, uh, you know, dip. So just look at the last. I mean, that, that's just a fact. That's how the last two bear markets have, have ended in Bitcoin is that first bottom, second bottom, first bottom, second bottom. And so there's a very good chance that what I've called at 16K is indeed that first bottom. And then we come back uh, later in the year for that second bottom. And that second bottom could be at like 17K instead of 16K, right? Or in the worst case, right? Because look, every bear market has ended with that higher low bottom, but in the absolute worst case, right? Maybe we go for a lower bottom just slightly. And that's what I'm saying. I think it would be at 14 to 12K in the absolute worst case. That's why I'm making fun of you guys down here is you guys were all arguing over the, the slightest bit of downside when there is so much upside and now everyone who is bearish is stressed out of their mind right now, hoping and praying and questioning whether we'll go back down or not. And see, that's why it was so important to follow me into being bullish there at 16K last week. Not only do we make over 130K, the things that I'm holding for the long term are also up massively. So it's been a pretty insane start to the year, not just in trading, but, you know, in the, what we're holding long term as well. So it was... <laughs> It's such a crucial moment to be bullish and people who doubted that or went against that, like that was a massive boost to get bullish where we did and so accurately and so on time. Like that is pretty much that's life changing timing, actually, uh, depending on, you know, what kind of money you're using and stuff. So, you know, that was pretty incredible. But anyways, guys, um, our QNT trades now up twenty one hundred dollars as I've been talking about this. So 
I'm gonna get this video out for you um, about this QNT long. Like I said, guys, please. The most important thing, like if you heard my Telegram message, is it's about how much do you lose when you're wrong? What is your worst case? And so, for example, I've set this stop loss as my worst case, but before my stop loss was at 116, right, which was minus $8,000. Now, here's the thing, guys. This was my absolute worst case. Like, I go to sleep and then Joe Biden, like, pukes on crypto and something like that happens, okay? But but here's the thing is, realistically, QNT was uh, we would probably stop out of QNT earlier than 116, right? So I'm just planning for the absolute worst case. China shuts down crypto. Every single country shuts down crypto tonight when I go to sleep. Then my worst case, I'm going to lose 8,000. But realistically, if the trade started to go against me, I could probably notice some of the correlations and notice in the chart that, okay, this trade's a little, it's not going to go good anymore. And I'd probably only stop out for like a $4,000 loss, right? So I have my worst case, absolute worst case scenario, which is an $8,000 loss. And then I have my, okay, let's adapt. Let's see what the market's actually doing. Okay, the market looks like this. It looks like that. I'm actually going to stop out for a $4,000 loss. So you have your absolute worst case. And then you have where you'd probably actually get out of the trade, which is like 120 is where I'd actually throw in the towel probably. You see? So... Really, we were never risking eight thousand dollars on this trade. It was more like four thousand, but we just still wanted to be prepared for the absolute worst. Uh, okay. So, anyways, guys, that's the that's the setup. That's the play at this point. Not risking anything. Uh, so free trade. Uh, so, guys, see you later.